Hey everyone, this video is for those who are using the AK2 loot pile machine. When I first got my loot pile gun, I was having a hard time with it because the loops that it was creating were so small that they weren't really staying in the fabric. I made this adjustment to the pile height to increase it enough so that the yarn would actually stay. And ever since I made this adjustment, it's been working great. I personally got my machine from Tuft the World. I do not sell or manufacture these machines. I'm just a user of them and have learned a lot along the way. So if you are experiencing some trouble or issues with your machine, I highly recommend checking out Tuft the World's support articles, which I will link below. Their support center is full of really great resources when you are experiencing an issue, so you can try to troubleshoot. All right, so let's get into this loot pile height adjustment. You are gonna need just a standard Phillips screwdriver. So out of the box, this comes on the smallest loop setting. So the way that we're gonna change that is making an adjustment to this piece right here. So if you can't see this screw here, you might just need to move the belt so that you can see it and it's in this position let's take a look at what's going on up here at the nose before you do this just make sure your machine is unplugged so there is this little needle that kind of comes through to push the yarn and then there's this little foot here which kind of what puts pressure against the fabric so that the yarn can loop we're going to want to pay attention to this little piece here as we're making this adjustment. So you can make this adjustment if you want to change the high height of your loops, but I also recommend you make this adjustment when you first get the machine because when it's on its lowest setting, which would mean like this here is flush up against the base here, that's how they come. The loops are so small that it's a challenge to get the yarn to stay in the fabric. Using a Phillips screwdriver just to um, loosen this screw here and now you can see that you can move this needle back and forth but what you're also moving is this piece here so this is kind of on its own little piece so this is the needle when you move this up and down you're moving how far the needle is going to go out which will determine the height of your loops. But then you see that this piece here is also going to be affected by the position of this metal piece underneath. So you're gonna wanna make sure that that metal piece is like flush up against the screw so as to not push that little foot out too far. So I'm just going to, let's take a look at far this comes out okay so you can see that this isn't being pushed out too far but we're getting a, a higher height of the needle getting pushed out you want to prevent this from pushing out too far because it will result in this getting caught on the fabric and then you should be good 